we have a public trust problem in this state as it is. And here we're about to have the legislature pick its own watchdog without any citizen oversight. The person responsible for investigating lawmaker misconduct and corruption is about to be hand chosen by the very people that he's supposed to be watching over. It's no wonder that the people of Illinois have lost faith in government because of the lack of accountability that exists even in this process is just solidifies their belief. We have a process in place in statute that calls for an independent citizen search committee to review, vet, investigate, and interview candidates and give them their informed recommendation to the Legislative Ethics Commission. That statutory process is being completely skirted. A process, I should note, that the candidate himself says is required by law. That a candidate who has been a federal and state judge says his reading of the law would require of us. It is dumbfounding to me that this chamber would fast forward through that process, putting their very candidate in a circumstance that he insists he shouldn't be involved in. Republicans have continuously advocated on following the recommendations of the Citizen Search Committee throughout this process. We have even offered to bring the Search Committee back so that they could do their due diligence on Mr. McCuskey, both to ensure independent oversight and citizen oversight of this process and of him to have that public trust that's necessary. Our simple and reasonable request has been denied. Doing it this way was clearly not in the legislative intent behind the law originally. Clearly the law was designed so we don't have politicians choosing their own inspector general. With all the scandal, corruption charges, indictments that we have witnessed in recent years, we have a responsibility to the people of Illinois to restore trust in their government. And that begins with accepting a qualified legislative inspector general candidate that's gone through the appropriate citizen oversight process. To completely ignore that process set forth in statute is not simply a disappointment, it's just plain wrong. We can do better than this. Let's do what the candidate himself says we must do. We've made an offer to make him an acting inspector general and while he goes through that process. That's what he said he would prefer to do. Until Mr. McCuskey's request is honored, I encourage us all to vote no.